Welcome to The Clip Show, the only TV review show with live interactivity. I'm Rachel. Coming up on today's show, we have reviews for the latest episodes of the hilarious American sitcom, The Big Bang Theory, and one of Britain's best productions and longest running sci-fi series, Doctor Who. All that and more coming up. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Now to introduce our TV critic for today, Sam. Hi, thanks Hi. for having me on. Uh, I'm a television critic for the Capital Times. That's great, thank you for joining us today. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a quick look now at a small clip from The Big Bang Theory where Sheldon expresses his love for Amy. I want you to know that you don't have to say it back. I know you're not ready and I don't want you to say it just because social convention dictates I that you- I love you too. You said it. There's no denying I have feelings for you that can't be explained in any other way. Well, what can I say? I mean, the BT says it all. Um, the episode's called The Prom Equivalent, I believe, mm -hmm. and it is outstanding. I mean, if you haven't seen it already, just, just go out and watch it because it's, it was something fantastic. In the episode, if you didn't see that already, this is the first time in eight seasons that Sheldon has finally com uh, confessed his love to Amy. Mm. And, you know, when it happened, I'm pretty sure everyone's heart just was just crippling inside of them. I mean... I cried. You cried. <laughs> I think I might have cried a little bit. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, there's some great points there. So we're just going to ask the public now what they think about this. Over to you, Michael. Hello, yes, I'm in a local cafe and I'm joined by Matt and we're discussing the Big Bang Theory. So, Matt, tell us, what drew you to watching the show? Uh, I suppose it was the fact it gives a voice to the underdogs. Yeah, and do you have a favourite character? Uh, for me, Sheldon. Right, okay, and if there's one moment in particular that stood out to you, what would that be? For me, there's no point saying there's a great moment or not. They're all great moments, really. Right, well, thanks for speaking to us today, Matt. Um, we've really enjoyed it. Um, it's back to you guys in the studio. Thank you for that, Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for a look at the longest-running sci-fi series, as promised. Dr. Hill. I'm Missy. Who's Missy? Mm. Please try to keep up. Short for mistress. Well, couldn't very well keep calling myself the master. Now, could I? Well, I won't try and overrun on this one a bit too much, <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, an absolutely amazing episode. I'm not a big fan of Doctor Who, but I was captivated the entire time. It's the return of the master. She's now the mistress. First mm. twist of that in the entire history of Doctor Who. And you know, if you, if, even if you're not a big fan of Doctor Who, it's well worth a watch because it's quality television. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. She did a really good yeah. role. Um, some good points there. We're going to go over to the public again and see what they think. Hello, yes, now I'm joined by Rob and we're discussing last week's episode. So Rob, tell us, after seeing a female master, do you think one day there could be a female doctor? I'm open to the idea, but uh, they've got to bring it in and a good storyline for me. Yeah, brilliant. And do you have a favourite doctor in mind? Uh, it's got to be Tom Baker from 1974 with a long scarf and a hat. And as for his companion? Oh, it's got to be Sarah Jane. The chemistry they had to add was fantastic. All right, well, thanks very much for joining us today, Rob. We really do appreciate it. Again, it's back to you guys in the studio. Well, that's the end of this week's episode, guys. Thank you to our TV critic for tonight, Sam. Cheers. And tune in next week when we look at The Missing in Coronation Street. Thank you for watching. Good night.